Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And today we're at home and we're planting some potatoes in the pots. So I'll show you what we've got and what we're doing. So I have my uh, potatoes chitting in an unheated bedroom um, on the windsill. And I'll leave the windows open a touch so that uh, they don't get too warm. And you can see here, they're chitting really nicely. These are almond pilot. I'm going to be planting those today. And then I've got some swift here, which are also chitting really nicely. And they're going in the ground, but not today, maybe a week's time. And then I've got some charlottes, and they're also going in pots today. Uh, and then some of them are going in the ground. And then everything else are main crops, and so they will be. Um, it's probably you know, early April before I'll be planting those. So I'm going to be putting them in pots on the patio in the back garden where I can keep an eye on them and bring them in in case of frost and all that sort of thing. I've already got some earlies out there, I'll show you those in a minute. So this is the patio where I'll be planting today and it's pretty sheltered. It's not quite south facing, but it's pretty close. Um, these are my first earlies. Um, although they're not strictly first earlies, I've got some Charlotte in there. Um, Charlotte's in here, and Charlotte's in there. And I've got Pentland Javelin in these. And these are my, these are half of the ones that I'm growing early. Uh, the other half are at the allotment and they're all our Aaron Pilot. I'll just show you what I do when we have a very light frost or it's just really windy overnight. I just pop these these pots over like that. And uh, that seems to do the trick. Um, I started these in the conservatory. I just popped them underneath the uh, the desk and uh, brought them out uh, once the weather improved. So they won't do a f they won't do fantastically being started this early, but uh, it's uh, you know like, well based on last year's experience and I've only got last year's experience to go on. Uh, they do do okay. So I will show you how I plant. Okay, so this is the mix I'm using, and these are the pots and we had the lawn aerated a few weeks ago and so we've got all these plugs of turf so i'm actually putting these at the bottom bottom uh, two inches probably um of the pots just to get rid of it basically and i think it probably will uh, provide some good nutrients for the potatoes and the main part of the mix is going to be this Levington's Organic Blend. I don't, I don't know which um, compost is the best to use really, but uh, I quite like this stuff. And last year we had a little bit of an issue with uh, scab. So I've got some of this leftover ericaceous compost, so I'm going to mix that in a little bit just to increase the acidity of the, of the soil because here in the back garden we do water with tap water so um, that's obviously alkali so we'll um, use this ericaceous compost a little bit of it mixed in uh, just to increase the acidity of the soil a little bit. So I'll get on with preparing these pots. So let's take a look at these potatoes. So this one is pretty much perfect. It's got no um, sprouts anywhere on it apart from at the top. So that is ready to go. Uh, I shall just nestle that in there. This one though has got sprouts at the top, sprouts on the side, sprouts at the bottom. So these I will just take off the ones at the sides and that should mean I will get fairly good um, sized potatoes 
just with those three sprouts there. Now I think I will be going for three sprouts in each tub and we'll see how that goes. Again here's a few extras so I'll take that one off and I'll just leave those two at the top, take that one off. Three might be too many, um, but we'll see. I think actually I'll probably try some tubs with three and some tubs with two. Here's another example here. Loads of sprouts on this one. Take that one off there. Take that one off on the side. You have to sometimes you have to just dig them out a little bit with your fingernail. Um, I'll leave those those three. So here's another example. That's pretty good that one, just three sprouts. Maybe just pop those in there. Another perfect example. So that in there. Yeah, three sprouts on that one, up on the back, I'll take that one off. Pop that one in there. So I think that's the Ammon Pilot loads left, as always seems to be the case. So let's just have a look at these Charlottes. Now these are not chitted anywhere near as nicely. But this one's got quite a few chits on it, so I'll take that one off and that one off. Pop that in there. This one's got three chits at the top and two chits at the bottom. Take the ones off the bottom. A bit difficult to do this with the phone, sorry, while I'm holding it. that in there. What else? Not bother with that one. Take that one off the bottom. Just leave those two at the top. Uh, that looks pretty good. Take that one off the bottom. Again you have to some of them you have to just dig them out a little bit. That looks okay, it's got a little bit of one off the side there. Two in there, and we'll do one with three. I could take those three there. And let's just have a look. So that's a nice one there, look, two sprouts at the top, nothing else. That one's got one sprout at the bottom, I'll take that one off. There we go, just two at the top. And it's got a few little tiny sprouts just coming up. Take those out, leave the ones at the top. There we go, three. So those three Charlottes there, two Charlottes there, two Charlottes there, and then again three Aaron Pilot there, two there, and two there. Now as I said, for the top, I'm mixing this organic blend, maybe five parts organic blend, to two handfuls of ericaceous compost, and the requisite amount of potato fertilizer mixed into that. And I'm only going to cover these by, well, by about halfway up the pot. Um, you could do less, but because they've still got some light frosts, it's good to uh, provide the potatoes with a bit of extra protection. Uh, so I'll get on with that. So there we go. That's all the uh, potatoes potted up. And once they uh, breach the surface and get about uh, six inches of growth, I will top the bins up, just like I've done with these. So 
earlier on in the video you saw these were sticking out quite a lot and these have now been topped up with the same mixture and these are pretty much finished now so just water and wait and we'll see how they go and uh, this is actually my potting bench and it's just raised off the floor to uh, to keep the slugs off and there is actually copper tape around the legs to try and help with that although I'm not really sure it works but uh, anyway there we go the uh, some of anyway the first early potatoes see you soon